the yarn I'm using is Karen One Pound. This one is in color blue, lavender blue, and the green one is in, I think, pale green. This yarn requires a size 5 millimeter hook, but guys, I went with a 6 because the yarn is too thick. I believe to my liking. Okay guys, before we actually begin, I wanted to mention that the diagram for this square is going to be on my Pinterest. The link is down in the description box. Um, but as well, I did make some modifications from that diagram. I don't really like my blankets to have humongous holes. So I did modify the stitching. Um, it's really up to you, whichever you want to go with, with my tutorial or uh, with the diagram, totally your choice. Okay, let's get to work. We are going to start with a slip knot, very simple. We're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the first to form a circle. Now we are going to put 16 double crochets into the circle. The first three chains will count as the first double crochet. Then add 15 more double crochets into the circle. Yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's your first double crochet. One more time, yarn over, insert the hook into the center of the circle, pull the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We have three, go ahead and make 13 more and we will meet right here. Okay, I finished my 16th chain, now we are gonna count one, two, three, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the very beginning. Okay, for round number two, we're going to chain three. That will count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to chain one. That will count our chain one in between the double crochets. You're going to yarn over and double crochet into the very next stitch chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, and go all the way around, double crocheting the same exact double crochets, only this time putting a chain one in between. Okay, you got to your last 16th double crochet, you're gonna chain one, and again, one, two, three, you're gonna slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And we finished round number two. For round number three, we are gonna start with chain three as well, that will count as our first double crochet. We are gonna put two double crochet into the space. One, two, and we are going to put one double crochet right on top on the next double crochet. So we will end up with a double crochet, two double crochets in between into this space and one double crochet. So we're going to repeating again, two double crochets into the space, you're going to have to a little slide them a little to the right to find the loop right here and put a double crochet right on top of the double crochet from the previous row. And one more time, two double crochets into the space, slide them a little bit to the right, you can see this little opening, put a double crochet. Okay. Do the same steps all the way to the end. I will meet you right here. We're going to put two double crochets into the space. And we're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the very beginning. And we finished round number three. 
Round number four is the one where I made the changes. So now it's not gonna correspond to the diagram. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna have to put a single crochet into this chain. So basically you have to skip two, single crochet into the third. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet into the third. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Again, skip two, single crochet into the third. Again, chain three. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet into the third. So this was our first corner. Now we're gonna make the second corner. We're gonna repeat. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, single crochet into the third. Again, we are repeating. Three, four, three. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip two, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet. This is our second corner. We came to our third corner. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, single crochet. Again, three, four, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And this is our fourth corner. We're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, single crochet. And again, three, four, three. One, two, three. Skip two, single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip two, single crochet. One, two, three. Now, and slip stitch into this, the very first one. Next, slip stitch into the space. Now we are going to put five double crochet. Our chain three counts as the first double crochet. Two, three, four, and five. Now we are going to have to slide them to the right so they occupy the half of the corner chain three to make the corner and another five double crochet exactly into the same space. One, two, three, four, slide them to the right if you have to, five. And this is our first corner chain uh, five double crochets, chain three, five double crochets. We are gonna put a single crochet into the chain three space. We are gonna put seven double crochets into the chain four space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the chain three space. And we came to our next corner where we're gonna put five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, everything into the corner. One, two, three, four, 
five, chain three, and five more. One, two, three, four, and five. This is our first side of the square. And this is the second side of the square that we are. Now, go ahead and finish. I will meet you right here. To remind you, you're gonna single crochet, put seven, single crochet, put 10, separate it with a chain three. Again, single crochet, seven, single crochet. All right, and this was the point where you put a single crochet. What you're gonna do now is gonna count your third chain and you're gonna slip into it. Okay, this round is gonna be modified as well. So what I did here is chain two, I will count only the chain two as a double crochet. Then chain four more, so six in total. Next, single crochet, and chain three and single crochet everything into the corner space. So single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now chain four, one, two, three, four. Put a double crochet into your single crochet from the previous row. Like like this. Now find the middle of your seven double crochets, which is gonna be your fourth, no matter what side you're counting from. And you're gonna put a single crochet into it. Then again, three, double cro uh, three chains, a double crochet into the single crochet from the previous row. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Again, into the corner, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now we're starting over again, chain four, double crochet right here into the single crochet from the previous row, chain three, single crochet into the fourth double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain four, same here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the corner. Now to end this round, after you chained your three, you are gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. Okay, and if your square turns looking like mine, that is totally fine. Um, it will straighten up when we add the last round. So don't be alarmed if it's not perfectly straight. Okay, slip stitch into the space. We are gonna put five double crochet into this space. Our chain three will count as our first double crochet two, three, four, five. For the corner, we are gonna put three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, everything into this little space. Okay, so one, two, three, slide them if you need to, chain three, and three double crochet again. One, two, three. Now we are moving to the next space. It's gonna be five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. This is what we have. Into our 
two chain three spaces we are gonna put only three double crochet in each so three double crochet in this one three double crochet into the next one moving to the next space five double crochet two three four five again into the space three double crochets chain three and three double crochet again okay this is what we have this is one of our sides completed and the rest you're gonna do yourself just put five double crochet three three five and the corners okay and I'll meet you right here okay guys and I am making my last three double crochets and to finish this round you're gonna count three and slip stitch into the third and this is the round where I preferred to stop by the diagram you have to make another round of single crochets but I do not want to do that because I want to join my squares with a v-stitch to make a really nice elegant lacy uh, blanket so to finish the round you would chain one and pull the yarn and cut the tail and this is it for today's tutorial uh, guys i hope you enjoyed it and will give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet i will see you guys next sunday with another tutorial if you have any special requests leave them down in the comment section other than that have a great week i will see you soon Bye bye